good morning. Thank you for joining us again today. I am out on my own. It's mid-January. It's absolutely freezing. And I am going to see some of the striding arches. Now, if you want to know what they are, you're going to have to stick with us. And I will explain everything as we go. So this walk starts just north of, I believe it's Monave it's pronounced, at a place it was called Cairnhead and that kind of marks the start of what you can see along this route so there has been quite an upheaval over the last few hundred years of this area and life has changed dramatically for the people who lived there so it's believed that this was farmed for almost 500 years but just due to changing of economies people eventually moved out and Cairnhead has been known as many things over the years the first thing you'll see is these four kind of sandstone blocks and a wall which represent the names at Cairnhead has been known as over the years. It's quite an interesting wee feature, it's including the dates and beautiful piece of stonework. And then suddenly walk round the side of this tiny wee cottage or a barn and you're faced with the first of the striding arches. I believe that one's called the Byer Arch. From there, you're heading up this forestry road in what's well, almost, I don't want to say alpine, but Seth, if you're watching, this reminds me a wee bit more of your videos, except for the big forestry road that yeah, you're walking along. So the temperature at the start point is minus three, so I have wrapped up significantly. I pretty much put everything I have on, including hat and gloves. However, after what, half an hour, I'm sweating buckets. So hat and gloves are off for now. The rest of me is just nice, but could get into minus double figures at the top. So I'm sure they will go back on soon enough, but I'm on this part of the forest track which is uh, pretty much in the shade and the snow that has uh, come down over the last month or so is still lying underfoot so it's a wee bit slippery as well oh, it does make for an absolutely beautiful beautiful walk
And now we approach Colt Hill Striding Arch. These arches were designed by Andy Goldsworth and there are four just around about this area. We have the Colts Hill Arch, which you see before us. And then we also have the Ben Brack Arch, which is much further to the west. And lastly, there's another one southeast, which is the Maid Hill one. And you've obviously seen the, the first one at the Bayer Arch. So these are built from stone that has been sourced locally in Dumfries. And it's kind of there to represent the ever-changing landscape that the locals have faced over the last few hundred years. And it's also worth noting that there are more of these arches around the world. There's also ones in Canada, the United States and New Zealand. And that's to represent like the immigration of Scots over the years from these kind of rural uh, areas to countries all over the world. Now it got rather cold up the top there. Uh, the wind was just, as soon as we got out onto the open hill, the wind was just absolutely biting. And uh, I actually bought a set of snow goggles for our upcoming trip into the Cairngorms. And I stuck them on just to come back off the hill because it was so, so cold coming down there. It did feel quite funky just having a nice set of goggles on. Uh, it felt like you were like a way out in the Alps or something like that. So those are the striding arches and they are quite spectacular to see, especially once you're at the top of an icy hill, it's not something you see very often and uh, looking across to the other one, uh, you know, it just stands out so prominently against the landscape, uh, even more so considering it's so white on the hills today, but uh, if you are heading up this way, or sorry down this way, uh, to have a wee look at these, there is sufficient car parking for a few cars, maybe about five or six at least. And uh, one thing to note is when you're driving up the single track road, um, you come to a gate which is closed over the road. There is a wee sign next to the, to the gate that says if you're heading up to the car park, just make sure you close the gate behind you when you go through. So. If you're heading up that way, just uh, be aware you're not stopping at that first gate and uh, keep going. So, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, wintry wonder in uh, Dumfries and Galloway and uh, learned something new about the area and uh, maybe even put your interest a wee bit to see if you'll come down and have a wee look at them yourself. So, thank you for uh, watching and we shall see you on another hike.